Peace and blessings. Thank you for joining Tribe Bukurim on this daily prayer and Bible reading journey. We will read through the Bible using the one-year Bible reading plan and end in prayer. Today is October 8th, and we will be reading from Jeremiah chapter 10 verses 1 through 25 and chapter 11 verses 1 through 23. Colossians chapter 3 verses 18 through 25 and chapter 4 verses 1 through 18. Psalm chapter 78 verses 56 through 72. And Proverbs chapter 24 verses 28 through 29. Let's begin. Jeremiah chapter 10 verses 1 through 25. Hear the word which Yahweh speaks to you, house of Israel. Yahweh says, Don't learn the way of the nations, and don't be dismayed at the signs of the sky. For the nations are dismayed at them. For the customs of the peoples are vanity. For one cuts a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. They deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers, so that it can't move. They are like a palm tree of turned work and don't speak. They must be carried because they can't move. Don't be afraid of them, for they can't do evil. Neither is it in them to do good. There is no one like you, Yahweh. You are great, and your name is great in might. Who shouldn't fear you, king of nations? For it belongs to you, because among all the wise men of the nations, and in all their royal estate, there is no one like you. But they are together brutish and foolish, instructed by idols. It is just wood. There is silver beaten into plates, which is brought from Tarshish, and gold from Euphaz, the work of the engraver and of the hands of the goldsmith. Their clothing is blue and purple. They are all the work of skillful men. But Yahweh is the true God, he is the living God and an everlasting King. At His wrath, the earth trembles. The nations aren't able to withstand His indignation. You shall say this to them, The gods that have not made the heavens and the earth will perish from the earth and from under the heavens. God has made the earth by His power. He has established the world by His wisdom. And by His understanding has He stretched out the heavens. When he utters his voice, the waters in the heavens roar, and he causes the vapors to ascend from the ends of the earth. He makes lightnings for the rain, and brings the wind out of his treasuries. Every man has become brutish and without knowledge. Every goldsmith is disappointed by his engraved image, for his molten image is falsehood, and there is no breath in them. They are vanity, a work of delusion. In the time of their visitation, they will perish. The portion of Jacob is not like these, for he is the maker of all things, and Israel is the tribe of his inheritance. Yahweh of armies is his name. Gather up your wares out of the land, you who live under siege. For Yahweh says, Behold, I will sling out the inhabitants of the land at this time, and will distress them that they may feel it. Woe is me because of my injury. My wound is serious, but I said, Truly, this is my grief, and I must bear it. My tent has been destroyed, and all my cords are broken. My children have gone away from me, and they are no more. There is no one to spread my tent any more, to set up my curtains. For the shepherds have become brutish, and have not inquired of Yahweh. Therefore they have not prospered and all their flocks have scattered. The voice of news, behold, it comes, and a great commotion out of the north country, to make the cities of Judah a desolation, a dwelling place of jackals. Yahweh, I know that the way of man is not in himself. It is not in man who walks to direct his steps. Yahweh, correct me, but gently, not in your anger, lest you reduce me to nothing. Pour out your wrath on the nations that don't know you, and on the families that don't call on your name, for they have devoured Jacob. Yes, they have devoured him, consumed him, and have laid waste his habitation. Jeremiah chapter 11 verses 1 through 23. 
the word that came to Jeremiah from Yahweh, saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and speak to the men of Judah, and to the inhabitants of Jerusalem, and say to them, Yahweh, the God of Israel, says, Cursed is the man who doesn't hear the words of this covenant, which I commanded your fathers in the day that I brought them out of the land of Egypt, out of the iron furnace, saying, Obey my voice, and do them according to all which I command you. So you shall be my people, and I will be your God, that I may establish the oath which I swore to your fathers, to give them a land flowing with milk and honey, as it is today. Then answered I, and said, Amen, Yahweh. Yahweh said to me, Proclaim all these words in the cities of Judah, and in the streets of Jerusalem, saying, Hear the words of this covenant, and do them. For I earnestly protested to your fathers in the day that I brought them up out of the land of Egypt, even to this day, rising early and protesting, saying, Obey my voice. Yet they didn't obey, nor turn their ear. But everyone walked in the stubbornness of their evil heart. Therefore, I brought on them all the words of this covenant, which I commanded them to do, but they didn't do them. Yahweh said to me, A conspiracy is found among the men of Judah and among the inhabitants of Jerusalem. They have turned back to the iniquities of their forefathers, who refused to hear my words. They have gone after other gods to serve them. The house of Israel and the house of Judah have broken my covenant which I made with their fathers. Therefore Yahweh says, Behold, I will bring evil on them, which they will not be able to escape. And they will cry to me, but I will not listen to them. Then the cities of Judah and the inhabitants of Jerusalem will go and cry to the gods to which they offer incense, but they will not save them at all in the time of their trouble. For according to the number of your cities are your gods, Judah, and according to the number of the streets of Jerusalem have you set up altars to the shameful thing, even altars to burn incense to Baal. Therefore, don't pray for this people. Don't lift up cry or prayer for them, for I will not hear them in the time that they cry to me because of their trouble. What has my beloved to do in my house? since she has behaved lewdly with many, and the holy flesh has passed from you. When you do evil, then you rejoice. Yahweh called your name a green olive tree, beautiful with goodly fruit. With the noise of a great roar, he has kindled fire on it, and its branches are broken. For Yahweh of armies, who planted you, has pronounced evil against you, because of the evil of the house of Israel and of the house of Judah which they have done to themselves, in provoking me to anger by offering incense to Baal. Yahweh gave me knowledge of it, and I knew it. Then you showed me their doings. But I was like a gentle lamb that is led to the slaughter. I didn't know that they had devised plans against me, saying, Let's destroy the tree with its fruit, and let's cut him off from the land of the living, that his name may be no more remembered. But Yahweh of armies, who judges righteously, who tests the heart and the mind, I will see your vengeance on them, for to you I have revealed my cause. Therefore, Yahweh says concerning the men of Anathoth, who seek your life, saying, You shall not prophesy in Yahweh's name that you not die by our hand. Therefore, Yahweh of armies says, Behold, I will punish them. The young men will die by the sword. Their sons and their daughters will die by famine. There will be no remnant to them, for I will bring evil on the men of Anathoth, even the year of their visitation. Colossians chapter 3 verses 18 through 25 Wives, be in subjection to your husbands, as is fitting in the Lord. Husbands, Love your wives, and don't be bitter against them. Children, obey your parents in all things, for this pleases the Lord. Fathers, don't provoke your children, so that they won't be discouraged. Servants, 
Obey in all things those who are your masters according to the flesh, not just when they are looking as men-pleasers, but in singleness of heart, fearing God. And whatever you do, work heartily as for the Lord and not for men, knowing that from the Lord you will receive the reward of the inheritance. For you serve the Lord Christ, but he who does wrong will receive again for the wrong that he has done, and there is no partiality. Colossians chapter 4 verses 1 through 18 Masters, give to your servants that which is just and equal, knowing that you also have a master in heaven. Continue steadfastly in prayer, watching in it with thanksgiving, praying together for us also, that God may open to us a door for the word, to speak the mystery of Christ, for which I am also in bonds, that I may reveal it as I ought to speak. Walk in wisdom toward those who are outside, redeeming the time. Let your speech always be with grace, seasoned with salt, that you may know how you ought to answer each one. All my affairs will be made known to you by Tychicus, the beloved brother, faithful servant, and fellow bond servant in the Lord. I am sending him to you for this very purpose, that he may know your circumstances and comfort your hearts, together with Onesimus, the faithful and beloved brother, who is one of you. They will make known to you everything that is going on here. Aristarchus, my fellow prisoner, greets you, and Mark, the cousin of Barnabas, concerning whom you received commandments. If he comes to you, receive him, and Jesus, who is called Justice. These are my only fellow workers for God's kingdom who are of the circumcision, men who have been a comfort to me. Epaphras, who is one of you, a servant of Christ, salutes you, always striving for you in his prayers, that you may stand perfect and complete and all the will of God. For I testify about him that he has great zeal for you, and for those in Laodicea, and for those in Hierapolis. Luke, the beloved physician, and Demas, greet you. Greet the brothers who are in Laodicea, and Nymphus, and the assembly that is in his house. When this letter has been read among you, cause it to be read also in the assembly of the Laodiceans, and that you also read the letter from Laodicea. Tell Archippus, Take heed to the ministry which you have received in the Lord, that you fulfill it. The salutation of me, Paul, with my own hand. Remember my bonds. Grace be with you. Amen. Psalm chapter 78 verses 56 through 72 Yet they tempted and rebelled against the Most High God, and didn't keep his testimonies but turned back and dealt treacherously like their fathers. They were twisted like a deceitful bow, for they provoked him to anger with their high places and moved him to jealousy with their engraved images. When God heard this, he was angry and greatly abhorred Israel, so that he abandoned the tent of Shiloh, the tent which he placed among men, and delivered his strength into captivity, his glory into the adversary's hand, he also gave his people over to the sword and was angry with his inheritance. Fire devoured the young men. Their virgins had no wedding song. Their priests fell by the sword and their widows couldn't weep. Then the Lord awakened as one out of sleep, like a mighty man who shouts by reason of wine. He struck his adversaries backward. He put them to a perpetual reproach. Moreover, he rejected the tent of Joseph and didn't choose the tribe of Ephraim, but chose the tribe of Judah, Mount Zion, which he loved. He built his sanctuary like the heights, like the earth which he has established forever. He also chose David, his servant, and took him from the sheepfolds, from following the ewes that have their young. He brought him to be the shepherd of Jacob, his people, and Israel, his inheritance. So he was their shepherd according to the integrity of his heart and guided them by the skillfulness of his hands. Proverbs chapter 24 verses 28 through 29 Don't be a witness against your neighbor without cause. Don't deceive with your lips. Don't say, I will do to him as he has done to me. I will render to the man according to his work.
All praises be unto you, the King of kings and the Lord of lords. We acknowledge you as sovereign in heaven and in all the earth. Thank you for loving us and calling us into relationship with you. You are great and mighty. How wondrous is your name in all the earth. We recognize you in your power and ask your forgiveness for anything we have said, done or thought that was unpleasing to you. Create in us clean hearts and renew right spirits within us. Bless us with knowledge, wisdom, understanding, maturity, discernment and focused minds. Take away any thoughts or feelings that are not in alignment with you. Open our eyes to the wonderful things of your law and make it an engrafted word in us. May we live lives according to your will. Denounce our sinful nature. Lay our sins at your feet and walk in obedience to you for your glory. Abba Father, bless us to be strong witnesses for the gospel of Jesus Christ. May we walk in wisdom towards those that are not yet believers and speak with love and grace that all may understand the loving heart you have for your creation. We present our bodies as living sacrifices to you and ask that you make us aware of your presence and what you are doing in the earth today. Cover us with the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Keep our physical bodies, our nation, homes, modes of transportation, places of employment, bank accounts, credit and investments and communities safe from all hurt, harm and danger. Expose and obliterate anything that dares to come against your people. Bring complete and total healing to our minds, emotions, and bodies. May your perfect will be done in the earth. We pray this prayer over ourselves and everyone connected to us in the matchless name of Jesus Christ, our Lord and Savior. Amen. May the shalom peace of God follow you for the rest of your days.